FA Cup glory. Well, football's greatest cup competition brings Dulwich Hammett to Pitt Priory Lane for what promises to be a close contest between two well-matched National South sides. It's less than glorious weather, though, with a coastal howler blowing up and the rain closing in. Let's hope it doesn't mar the Emirates FA Cup action this afternoon at Priory Lane. Eastbourne Borough versus Dulwich Hamlet. Hoisted by Wills. Taken nicely by Alfie Rutherford. Looks for the cross. Keeper stays on his line. And the header hasn't got enough power to trouble him from Walker. Rutherford picks up his own ball and it's deflected and it's into the corner. <laughs> Just into the fifth minute and Eastbourne Borough take the lead. Rutherford on the end of that long kick from Mark Smith beats one and beats the keeper. Walker added by a rolling. Goes by the outside. Needs to get the cross in. Uh, it's floated too long. No, it's saved by... Cox and he's just put it over. Kane Wills, huge ball in. Rutherford is there, but he's just beaten by the defender who pops it back and nearly scores an own goal there. So the first really tasty position for a Hamlet free kick. Curled in towards the near post, in fact, no trouble for Mark Smith. Looks for a red shirt in the middle. Rutherford, just outside the D. Little ball in, but Torres is offside. Walker, he's got Rutherford ahead of him, oh, and he does, oh, he's got away with that one. It's picked up now by Ryan Hall, there's the shot. Yeah, yeah. Goal. Yeah. Ryan Hall's trusty left foot, like an arrow, into the far corner. It's going Borough's way at the moment. It's 16 minutes played, and it's Eastbourne Borough 2, Dulwich Hamlet nil. Akinyemi on the run, good ball across. Well, that was knocked out for the corner by Gardner, and it's a good job he did. Outswinger. He can pop this one back in, and he does. Again, it's at the head of Gardner, doesn't get it very far though. Dulwich still have pressure. In from Allen, keeper's hands. Good control from Walker, finds Cox. Now Hall and Walker steaming onto this one. Needs the support. No, he gets the cross in anyway. There's Torres, pulls it down, lays it for... <laughs> Look to count it and it's given. Rutherford's legs taken from behind. It was a rash challenge. In comes Cox. Is turning into a rout. We haven't played half an hour yet, and he's won a lead by three goals to nil. Edge of the box. I think Demi, good turn. And it's touched behind, in fact, for a Hamlet corner. Oh my goodness, that, I think it was rash rather than intended, but it's caught De Dean Cox. Oh, it's a red. It's a red card. Well, we said it was rash. We said it was miles from the ball. And the referee decides it was worth a red card for Iffy Allen. Cox. Wide on the left. There's Campbell gone forward. Checks back. Deliver it, says the bench. Cox can deliver. No, plays it short. Ryan Hall into the box. Hits a shot. <laughs> Again. One goal with his left, one goal with his right. It gets better and better for the borough and harder and harsher for the visitors. It's Eastbourne Borough 4, Dulwich Hamlet 0. Edge of the box again. Cox thinks about the shot, plays it across. Rutherford's shot deflected. A very good save, to be fair. <laughs> Preston Edwards almost caught on the wrong foot but got down to it very well and it's a corner to Eastbourne. Oh, 
Oh, here's Cox in space. Looks for a red shirt, and that red shirt is Wills. Plays it out and looks to play it wide, but it's intercepted. Akinyemi out wide. Slung back in. Important header by Harry Ransom. He had Eshen right behind him. So Dulwich have steadied the ship. Can they now move forward? That should be the keepers. And it is. Excellent ball into the area. Tries the shot and it's whizzed across the face of goal. Still in play, in fact. Back into the area it comes. And finally, Smith grasps it gratefully. And that little flurry is over. Walker spreads the ball. Rutherford looks up, shoots, shoots wide. Well, Rutherford's going on the chase. Preston Edwards is out. And a follow up. Oh, Walker. Spectacular stuff. It's gone wide at the right post. Corner from the left. Headed out. Back to Cox, though. In it goes again. Oh. Well, the header could have gone anywhere. It's cleared at the second attempt. 79th minute. Dulwich corner. Well met, and it's a goal. Clean strike. Akin Yemi reduces the deficit. It's 4-1. And that might just sting the borough into a little bit more action. Out wide to Akinyemi. No cross is the call. But they get the cross in anyway. Oh my goodness, it's another goal. <laughs> well, well, the ten men have fought back admirably to 4-2. to the box, a chance, yes! another goal! This is amazing, Kingsley Eschen through, marginally onside, Borough caught flat-footed, and from 4-0 and coasting, Eastbourne Borough are now going to need to hang on. says wait. Torres header. Rutherford can't reach it. Yeah, three says that's all. And my goodness me, what a dramatic afternoon at Priory Lane. Dulwich Hamlet, awful in the first half, came back with three goals in seven minutes to stage what might just have been the revival of the season, the revival of the decade. They uh, did themselves proud in the end, the Hamlet, but uh, they had too much to put to claw back. East Wombera, who in fairness were commanding in the first half and were coasting for the first 70 odd minutes. <coughs> East Wombera it is, who see it through to take the tie for three. Well, Danny is with me here, um, and I don't know how you can sum that up, what whole afternoon? Well, I think you have to ultimately take the positives, Kevin. It's uh, the FA Cup, the greatest cup competition in the whole world, and all our objective was to make sure we uh, won, got in the fourth qualifying round and won the prize money for Eastbourne Borough Football Club, but uh, we certainly made hard work of it in the end. Certainly in the, in the final minutes. I mean, if we go back to the first half, that was an absolutely commanding performance, wasn't it? I think, you know, we were leading 4-0 at half-time and that was, you know, Jamie used the word in the change room, sensational. I think that's as well as I've uh, certainly seen a, a side play since uh, we've been here. Um, it was absolutely top draw. But uh, you must never, uh, never uh, underestimate the opposition and um, they 
they, uh, they came back stronger at Dulwich and uh, credit to them. Um, but ultimately, all that mattered was us, uh, as I say, being in that uh, hat, as they say, on Monday. Yeah, the, the earlier stages of the second half, um, Borough, well, understandably, I suppose, were coasting. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, isn't it? You know, at half-time, you you're not quite sure what you say to players when you're falling it up. It's, it, it's tricky. But I also think, and as we stand here now doing this interview, the conditions played a part. It got mm. colder, it mm. got windier. And I do feel that played a part in the second half. It was quite ironic that all seven goals in the game were all scored uh, at, the, uh, at the, the one particular end. So uh, I do think conditions played a part. But uh, as you say, let's look on the positives. Uh, fantastic display in the uh, first half. Good goals, a couple from Ron. Ryan Hall, uh, obviously the penalty from Coxie and Elfie Rutherford scoring as well. So plenty of positives, but we'll be back on the training ground Tuesday and Thursday and uh, trying to eliminate what, uh, what wasn't quite so good. And Danny, for the club as well as for the team, this is really important, isn't it, to progress in the Cup? Yeah, it's as I just previously said, it's the greatest Cup competition in the world. It, it's the FA Cup and things like what happened, you know, when they scored the three goals late on, that is just, just as it is, you know. There'll be some shocks today, uh, I don't know the results, but some sides will go out, there'll be shocks in the next round, there'll be shocks in the uh, first round proper, which, please God, we'd love to get to. So it's just about getting through um, and... Uh, as you say, it's very important for all non-league clubs. You know, we're only worried about ourselves, Eastbourne Borough. But the prize money, the kudos, it raises your profile. You know, say, you know, fourth qualifying round, we'd like to draw a lesser side. Please God, you win that. You're in the first round proper. We could be at Fratton Park in front of 15,000 people against Portsmouth or the Valley against uh, Charlton or someone. So it's a real, real, you know, exciting time for all non-league fans. The FA Cup. Thank you very much indeed, Danny. Anytime.